Hi, I'm Luciano Gonzalez, and welcome to Mythology Monday, the YouTube video series where I go through and I talk about Latin American mythology, legends, and all sorts of folkloric stories involving the supernatural, the fantastical, and in some cases, the uh, downright unbelievable. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Hoon's Bats and Hoon's Chowan, the half-siblings of the Mayan hero twins, Hoonapu and Expelunk. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how these fantastical twins came to be worshipped as the patron gods of the arts, and how they went from being handsome, human-like deities to being fearsome-looking monkey deities. And it's a very fantastic story. I hope that you'll stick around, and I hope that you'll enjoy it. Hoon's Bats and Hoon's Chowan are very skilled. They have lots of different skills. Unfortunately, something that they're not good at is the Mesoamerican ball game, which proves to be a very important part of the Mayan hero twin story. And it's because of this lack of talent in this game and the fact that their half-siblings, Hunapu and Axpelanc, are very skilled in the game, that they are frustrated with their siblings, to say the least. And what ends up happening is that they take out their jealousy by doing all sorts of cruel things to their siblings. I'm going to be talking about some of those things in the next segment. One of the early acts of cruelty of one bats and one chowan, hoon bats and hoon chowan, is that they would place their half siblings on an anthill and on a thorn bush in an attempt to kill them early on in their lives. Nothing came of this, and both of the newborn twins were able to sleep soundly through this because at the time the reason that they were being placed there was because they were loud, annoying, and impossible to deal with according to their grandmother who wanted peace and quiet in her house. The final powder keg events would happen much later on after years and years of abuse and cruelty at the hands of their siblings. Well, what happened specifically is that the older twins would decide that it was worth taking the food from the younger twins, and this was not something that the younger twins were okay with, rightfully so, because they wanted to eat their prey, they wanted to eat the things they grew, the animals that they hunted, and they were tired of their prey being stolen. So the next event that triggers everything is that one day, Hunapu and Expelunk would return home after a full day of hunting with no birds, no animals having been caught by them, and this enraged their grandmother, who asked them what had happened. When asked, they responded with the fact that their birds were stuck in a very tall tree that they couldn't climb up. They knew that their siblings were better climbers than they were, so they asked them for assistance, and the siblings reluctantly agreed. The transformation of Hoon's Bats and Hoon's Chon was only the beginning of their embarrassment because when Hunapu and Expelanc returned home by themselves, their grandmother questioned them fiercely, asking what had happened to their half-siblings, and they told her what had happened. She was mad, and she wanted to see her grandchildren again. She wanted to see all of them, so she asked the twins to bring their half-siblings back. They agreed. They told her that they would play a song four times, and that in order for the monkeys to be redeemed, and in order for them to stay, they would, the whole family would have to make it through without laughing at their appearance and their dancing, which is what would eventually happen. So, when the grandmother agrees, the song is performed the first time, and the grandmother laughs almost immediately when she sees her grandchildren in their new bestial appearances. And this causes the older twins to flee humiliated, understandably so. And the song is performed three more times. Every single time, the grandmother would laugh before the end of the song, unable to contain her amusement at the sight of the monkeys laughing, dancing, singing to the music. And that's kind of the tragedy of this whole story. It's the fact that the grandmother's love wasn't enough to overwhelm her amusement at the appearance of her grandchildren. And that is a real shame, but it's not all bad because Hoon's Bats and Hoon's Chowan would become the patron gods of the arts. They would become the main leaders and main deities of anyone who performs artistic endeavors, whether it's someone who was a musician or a writer, or someone who made arts. All of those things were the domains of the older twins. And I think that's very fascinating. 
I very much like the story. I love sharing it with you. This is, in a lot of ways, a rough summation that glossed over lots of important details, but the whole purpose of this series isn't to explain things in an extraordinarily accurate and all overwhelming way. It's supposed to be to introduce people to these myths. It's supposed to be to introduce people to these stories. And that's what I did with this, because I know lots of people, unless you're a player of Smite, fascinatingly enough, would probably never have heard of Hoon's Bats and Hoon's John. And they probably wouldn't have heard the full story, including the part where the twins came up with this idea to bring their siblings back, and it backfired and probably made things worse. And I think it's important that people hear parts of these stories and that people get to learn about this sort of thing. If you agree, I would absolutely love for you to share this video. I would love for you to let your friends know about these topics, and I would also love for you to subscribe. That being said, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in a few days with another new video.